where we sometimes do beauty videos without any makeup on. And sometimes we get a very adorable interruption by a schnoodle. By a schnoodle. So this is Sophia. She's also not wearing makeup today because she knew we were gonna do our empties video. And when we do our empties, we don't need to wear makeup because we're talking about trash. Do you wanna say something? Don't get all up in my grill, dude. Do you wanna say something? You just wanna stare. I already told you if you want your own channel, you need to give me some personality. Come on. Give us something. A little crumb. Just something. A wink. All right, lay down. Have a heart to heart. If you're gonna interrupt my videos, you gotta do something cute. You gotta give me some content. Alright? You just can't take up camera time. You can't take up lighting and you know space on my SD card. You just it's not gonna work. Do you understand? Nope. Get all up out of my grill. Do you get it? Do you understand? Do you wanna try this again? Enough of that cute interruption. So we're doing empties videos. And let me tell you guys something funny. The other day I got a comment that said, oh my gosh, I love your hair color, but doesn't it suck that you always have to wear makeup in order for it to look good? Are you, were you leaving that comment on, on my video? <laughs> Cause I don't always wear makeup. I'll do videos without makeup. I'll go to the store without makeup. I'll pick up my son in the carpool lane without makeup. I go to the gym without makeup. We don't always wear makeup around here, and I don't know about you, but I still like how my hair looks. <laughs> so we are due for an updated empties, and it's funny because it's like the timing works out perfectly. Once my little trash can starts to overflow, I check my calendar, and sure enough, it's been a quarter. So the last empties that we did was the first week in December, so we're overdue for one. Now, if you're unfamiliar, empties are just empty containers of beauty, or bath or skincare products that I use. If you're longtime subscribers, you'll see the same products quite often, um, especially because most of the products that I use, I do run out about every three months, especially when it comes down to skincare or hair products. So you're gonna see a lot of repeats. The only thing that that means is that I truly, truly, truly love the product and completely support the brand 100% because it's a product that I believe in. So if you guys have seen my empties before, this might be a little repetitive. I promise there's gonna be something to laugh at. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just gonna start with the top and I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a lot of the same products empty in this container. <gasps> Do you guys remember last season how many Boom Boom creams there were in here? It was kind of appalling in the best way possible. So speaking of which, there's one right here on top. Boom Boom Cream. This is an amazing life-changing body moisturizer uh, with Guarana and it's from the brand Sol de Janeiro. Uh, it smells amazing. It uh, gives you this beautiful radiant glow, like if a unicorn licked you. It's kind of awesome, but it is a little bit on the pricier side. It is a luxury product. So what I like to do is I like to go in and mix it with this other empty, and this is the uh, pistachio body butter, AKA the boyfriend body butter. It smells that good that apparently you get a man, but apparently I'm not using enough of it. <laughs> But I do like it so much that there are always multiples of these products in my empties. They're the most amazing, most rich, most moisturizing, just absolutely comforting body butters, body creams that I've ever used. They are a little slick, a little oily, but in the best way possible. So it's not like oily, slippery, like uncomfortable staining your couch type oily. You know what I mean? It's just going to make you feel really hydrated. It smells amazing. The scent lasts all day. It is a pretty strong scent. So if you're a fan of pistachio, caramel, vanilla, those sweet types of scents, you're really going to be a fan of these. I'm pretty sure there's more of that in here somewhere. We, uh, we don't really need to talk about it right now because it's only been three months. <laughs> Then we have a dry shampoo extravaganza. My favorite dry shampoo ever, ever, that smells good and actually works is from Dry Bar, and this is Detox. They also have a version for brunettes or people with darker hair or just darker roots. Um, I don't like that one as much as the original. I love the original. This is one of those perfect dry shampoos that smells good but also gives you that clean feeling to your hair. For me, it's not necessarily 
about a clean feeling as much as it is extending the cleanliness of my hair or the look of cleanliness in my hair. I could blow dry my hair in the morning and by the end of the day my hair already looks dirty, like two or three day dirty. So what I do is I blow dry my hair, I style it, and I apply dry shampoo. On the same day that I wash my hair, I use dry shampoo and I feel like it carries my style over for a day or two longer, especially now that my hair is color treated. It's a lot drier, so it keeps my hair a lot cleaner looking a lot longer. Now you guys know that I'm a fan of many different kinds of dry shampoos. Briogeo has a really good one, Chlorine has a really good one, uh, Batiste has a really good one, but I like them all for individual reasons. For example, uh, Chlorine has no scent to it. It cleans my hair, I mean, it cleans it really well, but it doesn't smell good. Batiste smells amazing, but it doesn't clean my hair as well as this or chlorine. So it's kind of a toss up. It really depends on what I'm gonna be doing and how I want to extend the style of my hair. So we have a few dry shampoo products. I have a couple of body wash products that I wanted to get through. Now you guys know I kind of have like a arch nemesis <laughs> when it comes down to body wash. So I'm kind of at that point where Caress broke my heart so bad that now I just venture out into the world of body wash. And I really love the um, Olay body washes that I can find at my local Target. So I get those whenever I run out. But there's also this other one that's like a cold pressed coconut. If a brand sends me a body wash, I'm going to try it because I'm at that point where I'm like, you know what? I have an open mind. Love is love is love, right? So if it's a new body wash, I'm gonna try it. Maybe I'll find the new next love of my life, right? Maybe, I hope. So I have two here. One is from The Body Shop, and this is the shower cream in the coconut variety. And then I have the Get Happy Body Wash in geranium and peppermint. This is from a brand called Plant. This is a really good brand because it's one of those all natural, vegan, organic, non-GMO, gluten-free, blah, blah, blah. They even hire adults with mental and physical disabilities. So it's a great, great brand all together. Um, but it is a little bit of a pricier brand for a body wash. It's totally up to you. I love how it smells. And it has peppermint. So when, you, when you're washing your body, you're like, you get this invigorating, like almost... Uh, opening of all your senses while you're taking a shower so it is a healthier product something that i would definitely repurchase i actually got this in a fab fit fun um and i think one of my local green beauty stores carries it otherwise you have to get it online this one wasn't impressed okay now let's talk about shampoo and conditioner um a bunch of randos in here favorites but randos like it's there's no pairs except for one i think so the first pair is or the only pair is from shea moisture this is the sasha inchi oil i get this from ulta i order it online and this is the most amazing combo um, of clarifying products that i've ever tried especially for hair like mine that's very fine i have three hairs you guys I don't know if you've forgotten this. Um, I don't feel like I say it enough like how tan I am. Um, but I have three hairs. And finding a really good clarifying shampoo and conditioner is tricky because most of them really strip your hair and just make it even worse. Um, this one's gentle enough to not strip your hair, but it's also clarifying enough where it removes all signs of buildup and it doesn't make your hair dry. So this is a great, great, great purchase. Then I have a shampoo from Briogeo, and I actually have its mate in the shower. I just totally forgot to bring it. The Briogeo Rosarco Repair Shampoo and Conditioner has been really great for me right now that I have uh, really, really treated hair. So uh, the Rosarco Repair Shampoo and Conditioner are amazing. Actually, I forgot to bring another Briogeo product. Again, because my hair is color treated, it's really important that I mask regularly to keep my hair nice and hydrated and not dry and brittle so I use the Briogeo don't despair repair deep conditioning mask uh, I'm so excited because he actually came out with like a super size of this with a pump need to add to cart note to self add to cart it's an amazing hair mask so I'll use that mask in conjunction with other Briogeo hair care products like their um, clarifying shampoo or the Rosarco line of shampoo and conditioners. I have another uh, shampoo from Amika. This is called Velveteen Dream. It's a smoothing shampoo. This is really good if you have frizzy hair, not to mention that it smells really, 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 really good. Now, if I were to compare Amika products to Briogeo products, they're a lot different because Amika products smell good. They leave your hair really beautiful. They make it shiny. They control frizz. It smells really good. I already said that, but that's how good it smells. Um, but Briogeo products, they're along the same line. They are high quality salon care type 
hair care products, but uh, Briogeo products are six free, so they're a lot healthier for your hair if that's something that you look for in your beauty or hair care products. Speaking of hair care products and good ones, um, this is a volumizing spray from Intelligent Nutrients literally changed my entire three-haired life. I wish I could go back in time and refilm my products for thin and three-haired life people. Um, this volumizing spray is amazing. You can tell my hair doesn't look as flat as it used to in older videos. So this is a volumizing spray. It's a spray that you put in your roots before you blow dry your hair and it gives you a lot of natural looking volume without having to tease your hair. I already have a lot of breakage from color treating my hair, from heat tools and from all that stuff, uh, from aggressively brushing it. Um, so I can't tease my hair. I feel like it causes unnecessary damage, you know? So this product from Intelligent Nutrients is fantastic for giving you a great lift with just a regular blowout. Okay, a couple of shaving products. My favorite shave cream is from the brand EOS or Evolution of Smooth. Did you hear that? Evolution? Um, it's a great shave cream. I get it at Target. You've heard me rant about it before because depending on the scent that you get, it costs a penny more or a penny less. It's kind of weird. And there's four different scents. They all have four different prices. Weird, right? Anyway, it is my favorite, favorite, favorite shave cream. However, I did see a review on this product and I was dying to try it, so I ordered it from Thrive Market. Um, it's Dr. Bronner's Lavender Organic Shaving Soap. So many people raved about this, about how it's a healthier brand and it's good for you and it shaves and it doesn't make your legs dry out or be itchy or whatever. Um, I would not recommend, so moving on. <laughs> then I have two eye makeup removers from Pons. This is a product from Mexico. Uh, you've heard me spiel about it before. It's the best eye makeup remover on the planet. It doesn't burn, it removes waterproof makeup, it removes all eyeliner, tightline, waterline, lash glue, everything. It removes every stitch of makeup from your face. So if you see this at your local Walmart, some Walmarts carry Mexican products. Snatch it up, try it out, thank me later. Uh, my mom actually goes to Tijuana, buys like six or seven or eight or 12, and sends them to me or brings them when she comes to visit. It's absolutely amazing. Highly recommend, plus drugstore price, you guys. Okay, then we have um, an empty Purity Made Simple from Philosophy. This is my favorite cleanser. It removes everything. I use it twice, so I'll put a squirt, like quarter size squirt in my hand, and then I'll scrub my entire face, including my eyes, rinse, then I'll put a little squirt on my Ferreo, and then I'll wash my face. That's literally what I do, and everything comes off. I'll use the Olay when I have a lot of really, really heavy eye makeup. Otherwise, this removes everything. Such a good cleanser. If I do need to remove my eye makeup with Pond, I use the Shiseido Facial Cotton. It's kind of pricey, but I don't go through that many of them. You know, I don't do my makeup every day. See what I did there? I don't do my makeup every day. Um, when I do, it's not always as heavy. And when it is heavy and I need to use this, this will last me for a very long time. A couple of empty perfume bottles. I have two from um, Urban Outfitters in Pistachio Brulee. I told you guys this is the most amazing perfume for $18 that you're ever gonna find in your life. Not to mention that it pairs very well with Boom Boom Cream and um, the Pistachio Body Butter. Like it's the perfect mate to those two body lotions. So amazing. The only problem is that for the last two or three months, I haven't been able to find it on the Urban Outfitters website. I really hope they didn't discontinue it because on my own, I would keep this fragrance relevant. Let's be honest. I go through like three of these every quarter. That's a lot of perfume, you guys. It smells really good, I just can't help myself. Plus it's a little bottle. Speaking of this, um, I actually discovered that perfume because I'm a fan of the Jo Malone Wild Bluebell Cologne. Um, but this bottle is about $120 or $130. It's a lot pricier. And the lasting power of this $130 perfume versus this $18 perfume is about the same. So it's like, mm, it's a toss up. You wanna smell good? Who cares how much you paid for it? They both last about the same, so you gotta put on just as much or spray your clothes. Uh, might as well buy the $18 one, right? What I do need to figure out though is I need to go to my local Urban Outfitters, like the actual freestanding store, to see if they have this in store. Cause this might be just one of those things where the sales weren't generating enough 
online because you can't smell a perfume online, right? But in store, you walk in, you smell it, you're more inclined to buy a fragrance. So this might still be available at a local Urban Outfitters store. I don't know if I would consider these empties. These are two beauty blenders that kind of died on me already. It's really easy to know when your beauty blender needs replacing because usually it's every three to six months, depending on how hygienic you are with it um, but you also start to see that the pores or the holes in the sponge start to get a little bit wider if you compare an old beauty blender to a new beauty blender you'll see how stretched out the actual texture of the foam is and the bigger the holes the more absorption that it's gonna have so you will lose more of your foundation as opposed to having more deposit onto your skin then I have an empty stay don't stray from benefit this is my favorite eyelid primer aside from benefits air patrol I really like it. It just feels like a really thin concealer, um, but it does a really good job at canceling out any sort of discoloration from my eyelids, just evening out the skin tone, hiding any veins, any of that stuff. It prolongs the wear of my eyeshadow, so I really like it. And it also comes in two different colors. Then I have a uh, body buffing sponge. This is one of those preloaded um, body scrubbing sponges from uh, Ulta. So this is sort of like a sponge gel type brand. I don't remember the name of it at Ulta stores though. I'll link it in the description box below because I really like these. They're readily available. You walk into an Ulta and you find them, you buy them. These are the cellulite ones. Girl, let me tell you, it's not doing anything for that. But uh, it's very practical, very handy. And even, and even after the soap of the sponge runs out, it's still very useful. But it gets to a point where you're like, well, it's a sponge do I really want that on my body it's been in the shower for a while you know what I mean then I have an empty Laura Mercier translucent loose powder um, a lot of you guys asked me are you sure it's translucent when you do your videos it looks like it has color it's the translucent version it's the only one I buy it's the only one that I like then the drunk elephant sea firma day serum this is an amazing life-changing facial serum I use this during the daytime um, and I don't know about you but it makes me look 25 and I'm not just kidding I really like it all the drunk elephant products I don't think I've met a single one that I don't really really love okay a couple of products that I did not like and so I'm just getting rid of them because they didn't work for me or they were expired the first one is the Brazilian kiss uh, lip butter from Sol de Janeiro. I got two of these within a few weeks apart from each other. I got one as PR and then I got the other one that I purchased directly from Sephora's website. One of them was perfect, amazing. It went in my purse. I was super impressed. I loved it. I love how big and chubby it is. The other one I put in my desk drawer and when I was trying to get ready one day, I was like, what does that smell? what's going on here? You know, and it was full on. And I think it's one of those things where when you use uh, like coconut oil or a shea butter or some sort of natural type fatty product, it goes rancid and it goes rancid very quickly, especially if it's in a temperature change, if it's in the sun, um, if it's old, it just expires. And so it gets this rancid scent to it. So if you're all about that funky life, Go ahead and use it. I didn't like it personally, so I'm like, bye. <laughs> then the Body Shop's Coconut Exfoliating Cream Body Scrub. Okay, let's talk about this for a second. So when I use a body scrub, I expect it to be either soapy or oily, and I expect it to be fine sugar granules or coarser salt granules. Those are the body scrubs that I Im imagine or envision or purchase. This one is really bizarre it doesn't lather it's not hydrating emollient or oily um it doesn't have salt or sugar granules in it maybe maybe sugar granules actually now that i'm looking at it but it's i don't know what it is it's just foamy like not soapy foamy but like like fluffy foamy like a lotion it has these little bits little brown bits i'm pretty sure it's made from like coconut shell or something it doesn't actually exfoliate. I don't know what it does, but I was like, why are you in my shower? Why am I wasting my time using you? I need you to like rip out my skin, take off that first layer and make me look slippery like a seal. It didn't do that for me, so it can't live in my heart. Then I have the Coors Greek Yogurt Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. Not really a fan. Uh, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, which is a hydrating moisturizer primer, 
is better than this one in my opinion. So again, I was feeling a little overwhelmed and crowded back there. So I was like, we need to switch things up. So I'm passing on that. And then this product from Briogeo, which you guys know, tried and true fan, diehard fan of Briogeo products. This is the Don't Despair Repair Strength and Moisture Leave-In Mask. This did absolutely nothing for my hair except make it look super dirty. So this is a leave-in mask that you put on after you shower, you spray it from mid shaft down, and then you can either let it air dry or you can blow dry your hair as usual. It just gave my hair this weighed, like weighed down feeling, this like kind of residue type texture. It made it look greasy and dirty and it didn't actually do anything for my hair. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it a chance. Maybe it's one of those products that stays on your hair and then when you go to wash your hair and you come out of the shower, that's when you see the difference. It did nothing for me except kind of just ruin my hair for that day. Like it ruined my clean hair feeling day. Then I have an empty carbonated bubble clay mask from Elisaveca Milky Piggy. This is a Korean beauty brand and this is one of those like clay masks that you put on and just totally like bubbles up and makes you look like you got stung by a bee. Like super puffy. It's really fun. Uh, it's a great mask. I don't think it's I think it's more of like a novelty product. I like how it makes my skin feel, but actually make a difference. I don't really notice anything that significant where I would special order this again, you know? Um, then I have an empty collab shape and shade ultra fine brow pencil, holy grail status. I have a collab ink attic liner pen. These liner pens are great. They're amazing. They don't feather out. Like once they come into contact with your skin, they don't budge or move. However, this one dried out in like, I don't know, two weeks. So I don't know if it was an older one, if it was dried out, maybe I didn't replace the cover the, the time I used it, but it was like super dried out. So that one died earlier than it needed to. It died a young death, you guys. And then uh, Rimmel Lash Accelerator. Holy Grail Mascara that you can no longer find anywhere. I don't know if it's getting discontinued. I don't know if they're revamping the line. I don't know if they're gonna change the packaging, but Ulta no longer carries it and it's extremely hard to find. So if you guys find this mascara, buy it, love it. Actually, don't buy it because then that's one less mascara for me. Don't buy it. If you see it, tell me but don't buy it. <laughs> anyway, that is it for this quarterly empties. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Any holy grail type products that I mentioned will be listed and linked in the description box below. Any products that were not worth your time will be not even listed in the description box below. Uh, and I think that's it. You know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys.